be cool, just move with the groove. No funk in here, the beat way too smooth. Yeah. Let's yeah. just do what we can do. Yeah, bitches, this is Super Pook. I don't know why I have to say that every time because it's in the intro and I need to stop because I sound like I'm an idiot and I need to remind myself who I am in every video. So, introductions of a lame way aside, this uh, this is a new series called Cod Psychology. It's just an occasional series. Cod Psychology, if you haven't heard the term, it's um, psychology with no actual basis in scientific study no kind of academic basis essentially it means psychology that's a load of old bollocks called psychology <laughs> and what i've done is i made a pun or play on words ah do you see cod ah, ah. so today i'm going to talk about arguing i want to talk about is basically i'm going to use a series to talk about aspects of human behavior in relation to gaming twitter youtube that kind of shit. That was one for the Björk fans. I hope you enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it and blocked me forever and YOLO moving on. So I'm laying on the floor recording this commentary so if it sounds a bit weird, um, it's because I'm a bit weird. Uh, being on Twitch and YouTube, the main type of argument I see is the pointless fucking waste of my time argument. So you have two people with different opinions. These are opinions. These are arguments about something that is entirely subjective. So something that can't you can't, so not objective, not where you can say, this is the fact, and somebody says, no, this is the fact, and then you have an argument and you can prove which is the correct fact, what's true and what's false, what's right and what's wrong. These are arguments about opinions. So someone will say, I love the new studio map. Oh, it makes me feel young again. I love the dinosaur peeking his head out and it's awesome fun and, and, and the gameplay on it is immense. And then someone else will say, Anyone who likes the new studio map is a fucking retard and can climb back up into their mums for JJ. That kind of a thing. So those two people see each other's tweets, instantly hate each other, and they might start an argument. If they're people who don't really know each other that well, they'll probably end up unfollowing and blocking and might get their other small penis friends to join in the fight and gang up on the other person who doesn't agree with them and... Those type of arguments never end well. What people don't seem to realise is that the answer is usually somewhere in the middle. Unless you both come to that kind of middle ground, it's not going to get anywhere. It's like, I used to work in a, a women's centre where women would come in if they, for various reasons, but also if they'd been in horrible cases of domestic abuse, they'd come in seeking advice and refuge and they'd get passed on to women's refuges and get support and free legal advice and this kind of thing. And some of these women, they'd been completely isolated by their partner. Some of them couldn't even speak English. Um, you know, this was the only place they could go to. And they had children as well. And they'd been belittled and made to feel like nothing. And they had managed to get out of that house where they were isolated in the community. They had no friends. Bring their children and have the bravery to start an entirely new life with no work skills and nothing. And so it was very important to them that there was a charity there that could help them because the Women's Centre was a charity and that there was a system of benefits from the government that could help these women start their new lives because it, essentially it would be it was life-saving stuff, the benefit system, the fact that a charity existed to help them. But if you took someone who was, say, a staunch Tory who really, really staunch, kind of right-wing, who felt that benefits were a complete waste of space and used terms like benefits scroungers all the time, and you show them a place like that, their opinion would modify. Um, even the staunchest right-wing person would realise that benefits can occasionally be a life-saving thing. On the other hand, if you took someone who was completely left-wing, who thought everyone on benefits is a hero, if you showed him or her say, 42 episodes of Jeremy Kyle back-to-back. Back. Within 10 minutes, they'd be shouting, Get a job, you lazy old scrounger! At, at the screen. The answer is somewhere in the middle. Ben the benefit system is absolutely brilliant for people who need it, but there are some people who abuse the system. So, that kind of argument, where you've got two subjective opinions, um, it's if they're extremely opposite opinions to each other it's it's rarely going to be productive 
because people have a strong kind of emotional attachment to their opinions. They're not going to let go easily. Um, what you really need is someone who has that middle opinion, someone who doesn't feel strongly either way to kind of intervene and say, hey guys, hey guys, let's all be friends. <laughs> So subjective opinions, talking about how One Direction are awesome or One Direction are a big bag of retching shit. Um, and objective opinions, talking about something that you could say is fact but is open to interpretation quite often. You know, those are the two kind of arguments you get. And usually with both the answer lies somewhere in the middle. And what you have to recognise if you're having an argument about something subjective about an opinion is it's not going to change. So... It's not going to change anything. You're not going to change the other person's mind, most likely. You're just... Essentially, it's just like standing on a hill and shouting. So, uh, why do people argue? Well, hopefully this won't um, make a lot of people unfollow and block me on Twitter and hate me forever. Um, I think there are sort of... There are a few different reasons why people argue. But if you're talking about really argumentative people, the people who like to argue... I think the two reasons that people like to argue are kind of really diverse. I would say the two absolutely diverse reasons why people can be argumentative, either because they're quite insecure or because they are overconfident. So if they're insecure, they feel like they have to constantly kind of reassert their dominance. They have to say, I'm boss. Um, so they feel like, if they keep shouting that this is a fact, they know everything, this is the truth, and kind of shouting at everyone, getting everyone in line, um, winning arguments, that's it. That's that's building up who they are, that's saying, I win, I beat you, I won the argument. On the other hand, you have people who are so, so confident that they can't even contemplate the fact that if they believe something, if it is their opinion that it is not then fact. So essentially what I've said is if you've got the people who, who are really argumentative are either the people with the tiny penises or the people with the big penises or whatever the lady equivalent is. That's the argumentative people. It's not It's not the only reason people argue. People argue because um, they feel passionate about something and they, they genuinely believe in it. The, but the people who tend to start arguments over nothing, I think it's either because they're quite insecure or because they are overly confident i think it's one of those two but let me know what you think that's just my cod psychology bullshit thoughts and does, is there any point to arguing is my final little sort of mini topic of conversation um i think there is a lot of the time if you're if if you're arguing with someone who is open to modify their opinions and if you are open to modify your opinions then there is a really good point to arguing because you can start to see the the topic you can start to see the issue from the other po person's point of view and you actually might learn something i think arguments i think having a difference of opinion can be a good thing if you are actually both willing to listen and to learn and to change so there you go that's it that's the end all you have to do when you're having an argument is remember the golden phrase of in my opinion and essentially you can say whatever the fuck you want in my opinion, Super Pook is a boss. You know, yeah, see, I can, I can make ludicrous claims like that. Let me know what you think about arguing, why people... I'd be really interested in particular to see why you think people are... Argumentative people are argumentative. What do you think makes people argumentative? Um, because I'm not an argumentative person at all, um, I'd love to know. I would really love to know, particularly if the argumentative people I know who subscribe to me on YouTube tell me what makes you argumentative is it because you're really really confident in yourself and you kind of just can't believe that anyone else doesn't agree with you because you're a boss or is it because you have a tiny penis go on put that in the comments um let me know what you think next topic on cod psychology i think i'm probably going to do flirting because there's a lot of that on twitter and on youtube of late um mainly from me all right chaps i'll see you next time bye yeah, be cool, be cool. Just move with the in here to beat way too slow yeah.